<laughs> What's up, guys? DJ LeFave in the hizzy. Here we go. Pop-up session. Pop-up session. Pop-up session. We're going to turn this down. Turn this down right there. What's up? I'm DJ LeFave. If you've been here before, you know what the deal is. We're about to have some fun. We're going to build something today. Uh, we're going to build something. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, real quick, just look right over here. That's the VIP lounge. If you guys uh, don't know about it yet, join the club. Become a member. Uh, $2.99 a month. You get your name up on the lounge. You get some cool badges. You get the DJ LeFave emoji. And uh, we also do one Zoom meetup, at least one per month, where everybody gets together and, and hangs out. Um, additionally, and we're going to, uh, I'm going to have to warp down for this one. Hold on one second. Warp in, warp in. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go to here. All right, and then over to here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I don't want to show you that just yet. What I do want to show you is we have created a a, uh, a server, a server in Discord. That's right. We are We are going to show you this this guy right here right there all right so the link is in the description if you guys want to be part of the club with dj lefave on discord then please feel free go join and and hang out there we're going to have a general section it's called the dance floor general chat listen to music i've got this cool little music player interaction that goes in there um there's going to be a section for djs so djs want to talk want to chat want to show off your gear want to talk pricing um we can do that what's up soldiers how you doing bro uh, soldiers, uh, help me out with this. He helped me hook this thing up, and I appreciate you very, very much, bro, for doing that. And, uh, yeah, and then finally there is Backstage, where we're going to be talking about all the production stuff that we do. OBS, audiovisual, virtual DJ, and I may add a couple other things to it, too. I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, kind of a newbie when it comes to, to Discord, so I definitely take all of your... Uh, suggestions and advice uh, too hard. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna warp back over here, over to here, and bring it on up, bring it on up, bring it up. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Here we go. So what what uh what's going down today is somebody said, man, I love that DJ booth scene you got there. It'd be cool if you could turn that into a game show, a virtual game show. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. We are going to try from scratch to create the semblance of a virtual game show. I'm gonna take feedback from all of you guys out there. Everybody out there, I'm taking your feedback as to what components you think should go into this game show. So um, any, any of your thoughts, suggestions, whatever you got, throw them in there and we're going to get going. So I know where I'm going to start first. I know where I'm going to start first. First place I got to go is over here. We moving out. Woo! All right. We are now in, in this wonderful, wonderful scene collection over here, which um, it'd be cheating if I started from this, right? <laughs> it'd be totally cheating. So, so we're not going to do that. Instead... We're going to go up to the top here. Ah, you can't see it. We're going to go to Scene Collection, and we're going to say New. And this one is going to be called, again, I'm going to make this all available on my website if it turns out, you know, handy dandy fine. But uh, in the meantime, you guys could follow along. You should be able to build all this stuff on your own as well if you just follow the steps that I'm showing you. And please, ask questions in, in the chat. Um, if you like what I'm doing, then hit the Like button because, you know, uh, YouTube likes it when you do it. I like it too. I like it too. All right, so here we go. We're going to call this Game Show Template. All right, there we go. It's the Game Show Template. Uh, I don't know what the Game Show is called yet, but here we go. This is the, the blank slate, the blank slate. So the first thing that I think we're going to do is the first thing I tell everybody to do. Go into Settings. Go into Settings. Go into Audio. Disable all of your audio. That's the first step. First and foremost, always do that. So then the next thing we got to do is we got to add our audio in here. So we're going to call this Audio. All right, and then here we're going to add two audio input captures. The first one is your microphone. So my mic on here, we're going to call this to be the, um, I'll, I'll just put, I guess I'll put what I'm using. It shouldn't interfere. We'll say okay to that. So we've got my mic. You see, I've got my mic because my mic is coming in right there. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, music, I guess. Music sounds good. If you're going to have a game show, you got to have some music. So audio input capture, and we're going to call this music. Okay. And you just select your music line. I use voice meter. If you guys don't use voice meter, you should. It's it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So now we've got music coming in there. So we've got audio coming in. Um, you guys can verify. I don't think there's any, there should not be any dual feedback coming your way at all. But I'll just ask just to be nice. All right. The next thing we got to do is we got to uh, we got to bring in a camera, right? We got to bring in a camera. So we're going to say camera. Uh, camera feed, right? Camera feed. Well, we'll call this the host camera feed always create your scenes create your scenes man so we'll do a host camera feed um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my virtual camera over here and then I'm gonna bring it in over here we'll do a video capture device and I'll say host cam and this is just for representation sake just for representation sake so we're gonna say OBS virtual camera and I'll say okay and I'm gonna crop it on down crop it to right there 
So now you're going to have a camera of me over here. So there, there's, you know what? That's, that's really annoying. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do what I did the other day. I'm going to just put an image in. This is a placeholder for your camera. Cam image. That, that was just, it, it, it would totally mess with me. And it would mess with you guys too. It would mess with you guys too. So where did I put this sucker? I just saved an image the other day. I did it for, um, let's see where it is. Where did I put it? I think I put it in images. Maybe it's in images. Images? Just a fun, fun little DJ. All right, we'll have my girl Kyla. Kyla will be the host. She's got a microphone. That works out. All right, so Kyla is the host. There we go. Just imagine she's facing forward for you right there. That's that's my, my homegirl, Kyla Coogan. If you guys want to get down with a... Uh, we're doing an event uh, next week, next Thursday night. Um, I can add the link later on, but we don't want to get, get too deep into that. But it's going to be fun. The Purpose Driven Party, totally, totally fun. So we've got the camera feed, okay? The next thing we got to create is the host booth right the host booth that the host is going to be standing behind um very very simple approach to this very simple i'm going to show you how quickly this runs once you have everything that you need to make this happen so the first thing i do is add a color source we're going to do color source and we're going to say booth background white got to name everything got to name everything man white looks good right there all right we're going to crop it down to right there and we'll crop it here that way you can just uh, see where it's at control d puts it in the middle of the screen Okay, so that's the first part of our booth, right? Now we got to right click on the scene. If you guys, you know, I need to zoom in here. I'll zoom in. Host booth. We're going to apply a filter to the scene. Now in this filter part, we're going to do plus right here. And we're going to do user defined shader. And it can just be called that. That's fine. So you need to have the shader filter plugin. And then you have to get the alpha camera, alpha gaming camera shader file. If you go on my website, the how to build a DJ booth file is there. Um, if you guys really want to get into this, I'll, I'll try to add that if I remember later on to the video description. But the actual code for this file is there. So all you're going to do here now is go load shader from a text file, click browse, and it's called the Alpha Gaming Bent Camera Shader. That's it. It's in your shader folder. Now we say open. So when I zoom back out, you're going to notice that the semblance of our booth has been created. But that's way too wide, way too wide. So you got to come in here and just kind of kind of mess with it a little bit. We're gonna bring the booth in right there. That's a 0.21 I did. So now you go to the right side over here and we're gonna say 0.21. That's not enough. Did that not even type? Didn't even type, right side width. Here we go. 0.2, maybe, maybe a little bit farther right there. So point, point 0.25, oh wait, zooming, zooming, zooming. Here we go, here we go. How can you make a stinger with an image that you have? Um, I actually created a tutorial on that. Um, if you look back a little bit, there is a tutorial on how to make a stinger from an image inside of OBS. Essentially, you're just going to take that image and add a motion, uh, a motion uh, filter to it, and then it motions across your screen whenever you hit the, whenever you hit your hotkey to trigger it across. So if you go check out that tutorial, um, I'll, I'll pull it up here for you real quick, just so you know which one I'm talking about. Um, it, it works for an image. It'll work for uh, It'll work for a video. It'll work for, for whatever, man. It works for, for them all. So here it is. It is in, um, let's see, past live streams. I've been doing so many of them, man. So many of them lately. It's been it's been on fire. Uh, it's got a funny picture of me on it, actually. Funny picture. Was it? A, oh, there it is. There we go. Create a. So this is how to create a video mask with your webcam. No, that one's not it. Is that it? No, come on. Where, where's the? Oh, the dynamic stinger transition. Here we go. So we'll copy this link for you. Copy link address. I'm going to throw it in here. So that, that's how I can uh, create a stinger inside of inside of OBS. So it's not the traditional sense of creating a stinger. So hope that helps you out, bro. All right. So there's our DJ booth. Kind of, I mean, our, our host booth. Excuse me. It is a host booth. This is a host. Um, I think that looks okay. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to crop these sides off. So you just kind of want to have it look like a, a, uh, a booth there, you know, a little bit. We maybe could make the sides a little bit. No, not that. Maybe that. There we go. That's what we want. All right. So the booth is going to go back a little bit. Left side size of 0.83. That means the right side size has to equal 0.83. And now we hit close. So that is our booth. Okay. Our booth has been created. Um, this is what we're now going to bring into our production scene. So this just says scene. I'm going to rename it. And we're going to say this is the uh, host only scene we'll get into more later about how this game show should function right 
So the first thing we got to add is our, our we got to add our audio, right? Well, the audio, we might throw that into the background scene. I'm not going to mess with that one just yet. We'll add our host. So we're going to add our host camera. So this is our host camera feed, and that's too big. So we got to bring it down a little bit, just like that. Okay. And now we're going to add another scene. We're going to add the booth. So we're going to say, add a scene, and we're going to add the host booth, right like that. So now from this, we can actually crop it. So now we just hold alt, drag it on into right there, hold alt, drag it on into there. And we can bring this down a little bit in size. So there's our, there's our booth. Would our host be in the middle or would they be to the side? A little offset. I guess they're going to have a screen behind them. So we'll do this. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's how your host booth is going to look. So there we go. We got that. We can crop her down a little bit in there. In there and this is going to be your camera by the way this is your camera so now you have where the host is going to stand behind they'll have their notes it'll look very similar to this this scene right here where you know i'm behind this but you know it, it looks a little bit more dapper right a little bit more dapper you got your host booth and maybe it needs to be higher i don't know we can keep it like that for now what we're going to end up doing is going back to this host booth and we're going to we're going to get creative with this guy a little bit so the first thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another color source. So I'll go down here and I'll say color source, and we're going to call this green for the name plate. Okay, this is for the name plate. I'm going to select green as my color, say okay, and I'm going to crop it till it's right there. I'm going to crop it down to right there. So now you can put the title of your show right right in the middle. When we go back to our host only scene, there you go. You've got your you've got the top of it right there, right? So you're you're pretty much you're you're getting there for for the beginning of this whole thing. Now, gosh, what should the flooring look like? You you can make the flooring pretty trippy. You can make it fun. Maybe just blue. Uh, that that seems kind of too too easy. But we'll do blue just for now. Just just to I don't know. I kind of want to have some lines in it and stuff. Ah, uh, we'll do that. We'll we'll do so. We'll do a background. We'll do the floor first. So we're gonna create a scene. It's gonna be called the floor. Okay. Here's the floor. So the floor scene is going to start off with a color source. Again, I love color sources, man. We're gonna call this blue floor, okay? And we'll say, oh, we gotta select our color. We're gonna make it this uh, this brightish blue right there. And we say, okay. So now we've got a blue floor, okay? You guys all following along out there in TV land? And the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna add some lines on here to show the perspective when we change it up. So I'm gonna add another color source and it's gonna be black. All right, we add black, and then we got to change the color to black. And this one's going to be really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to crop this to give us little lines, just kind of like that. Okay, move that over a little bit. Copy, paste, bring it over. Copy, paste, bring it over. Copy, paste. <laughs> copy, paste. All right, so we got we got all of them right there. We're going to go copy, paste. Okay. So now you, you can actually bring these all together and you could say uh, group them. So we'll say group select. Now we won't group them. We're going to copy them all. <laughs> and now we're going to paste and then bring it over. Do I have a lot of them? How many do I have? Did it work? I got ahead of myself there, man. Oh, yeah, it did work. Look at that. Got that. And this is all going to make sense in a minute. Trust me. Trust me. It's just, uh, you know, we're just we're just just going to have some fun with this. Got one more, one more. All right, that, that didn't speed up the process at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. Copy, paste. Again, this is just showing you how to do things all inside of OBS. So it makes it very lightweight. And you, you'll see this this idea coming coming to fruition. Hey, Steph, welcome, man. Welcome. I know this is a, uh, uh, what am I doing? Two, two extra this week? Two extra shows? Man, why do you keep coming over there? Paste. <laughs> Oh boy. You could also create designs in PowerPoint and then bring them in here if you wanted to. You could do, you know, you guys know that. I've taught you that. There we go. Now paste. Paste reference. There we go. Come on. We're almost there. Copy paste. Copy paste. And again, I don't think that the 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 shape of the the distance between these matters much. I don't know. I've actually I've never done this before. You guys are all seeing this. We want to call it genius on the spot right now on the spot going with this all right so there now we have a floor of sorts right kind of kind of, kind of trippy so that's the floor baseline now we're going to add a new one we're going to call this floor 
3D, okay? 3D. This is the 3D floor. So this only works on Windows. This only works on um, window, Windows, yeah. You need, you need to have the Stream Effects plugin. This the Stream Effects plugin for this one to work. So now we're going to go plus. We're going to add the scene we just created, which is the floor. And um, we're just breezing through this, man. Breezing through this. Okay, so now we're going to apply a filter to the entire scene itself, okay? I guess we could do it to the floor there, but we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it to the floor itself, the floor scene. Is that going to work? Uh, we'll do it to this right here. We'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. I don't know. We're all messing around here. So the scene we're going to, the filter we're going to add is the 3D transform. We're going to say, okay. So now we've got the okay right there. So to do this, the first thing you got to do is go to perspective and you've got to come out a little bit. Okay. It's coming out. Now we have to take the pitch. We got to roll the pitch back. Oh, it's working. Look at that. Just look at that. Now you've got some perspective. You got some depth. I'd say you got yourself a floor. Bring it up just a little. How's how's the host gonna sit on this? I don't know, man. I don't know. We're, 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 we'll mess with it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this all works. And now if I roll the Y over, okay. Uh, leave that at zero. Again, I I've never done this before. This is all a crapshoot. We're just uh. Oh, you can do it like that too. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we have a floor with our perspective. That's all. It kind of worked out without the lines being all straight. Did I just screw that up a little bit? I did. <laughs> where, where is this? Where's my filter? Right click, filters. Okay, my filters. What did I do wrong there? Something pitched out. Oh, right there. That's why. Zero degrees. So all I did was a 72.13 degree tilt on the X pitch inside of the perspective that's it that's all i've done right there so now we're going to create a scene called background add a scene background so this is going to be the background for for everything so in our background we're going to add a scene our floor 3d right here add existing okay and now we're going to bring this down bring it down just like that this is going to work this might work might not let's just crop it we'll leave it like that and we're going to crop it just like that so there's our floor Cool, we have a flooring. And then the background is going to be our paneling for our... Uh, oh, Siova! What's up, brother? What's up, brother? I haven't been able to catch any of your live streams if you've done them recently. I've been been keeping a lookout. I think I set it for Notify. If you guys haven't, go, go, go. Subscribe. Like it. Subscribe. Notify. Get on that. Siova, representing the East Coast, baby. Yeah, we are trying to make a game show scene today. Somebody had this idea of making a game show out of out of everything, and I said, all right, that's cool. I'm down with that. Let's give it a try. Um, because the background is going to be in every scene, I think, we're going to add our audio in here. So I'm going to add my audio into the background, and that way, anywhere my audio goes, it's like my buddy. My buddy. My buddy. You guys remember that back in the day? All right, there's our, our floor that we just made right there. Oh, you haven't done one in four days. Okay, then it's not me. It's not me. Okay, so now we're going to... Uh... <laughs> Life does get in the way, man. It gets in the way. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just add my go-to uh, background image. But you could do whatever image you want. I've got my, uh, my, my, my ladies with the sunglasses. So we'll just add her up in here. Because I think that'll, that'll work just fine. Just find them. It's not you, it's me. <laughs> Damn Skippy. All right, so there's that. We're going to do Control F, fit that sucker to screen. We're going to crop it. Just Oh, we're not going to crop it. We're just going to resize it. There we go. Resize to there. And the reason I like this image so much is because it's the brick wall, right? So it kind of gives the semblance of a wall while also having some niceness to it. Again, I got that at Pexels. That's P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. 100% free to use stock images and uh, i just looked up graffiti art and that's how i found uh, this girl and i doubled her up there i just went boo flipped one side to the next uh yeah yeah man all right so that that's uh that's our background so let's go back to our host only scene and we're going to add that background scene up in here add existing we're going to add the background and now take the background drop it down low drop it down low okay cool so there we go we now have our booth which is going to be right over here We've got our game show host, which is going to be right over here. Okay. It's kind of coming together. Kind of coming together. I, I guess the flooring's all right. I could maybe add, you know, we're going to, 
we're gonna toggle with this uh, the booth scene right here. So if I just right click on the booth scene, filters, you can now mess with the pitch of the, let's see, what's it called, the width? Is it the width? Is it, it's not the width, it is the, <laughs> it's the size. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let, nope. Oh, that's the one. So left side size. Kind of wanted to get it to it'd be trippy right here. Yeah. I'll let you guys decide what you want to do with that. If you want to to make it try to, I don't know, match with the, the flooring, whatever, you can. I'm just going to leave it. We're just showing possibilities, man. That's all we're doing. We're showing possibilities. So this is now your, your game show... I don't know, background-ish thing. If I drop this booth down to here, you got Alex. Oh, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to add Alex Trebek to this sucker. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here. Alex Trebek. Okay, I'm going to get an image of Alex right now. We're going to get an image of Alex. Rest his soul, man. Rest his soul. Now I'm going to show you my trick of what I do with images. So I've got an image. Probably not free to use. But we're using it. And we're going to go into my favorite, favorite uh, photo editing program ever known to man. That's right, ladies and gents. It is Microsoft PowerPoint. We're going to now paste the picture. There's Alex. How do we get rid of that background? We'll go up top, click on Format, click on Remove Background. And for the most part, he did a good job. Mark Aries to keep. We want to keep his hair. Oh, you know what? I should have found a picture of Alex with his mustache. That's what's up, man. The picture of Alex with his mustache. Just like that. Get rid of that. A little under your armpit right there. Right there. Right there. Come on, baby. Come on. All right. Close enough for uh, government work. Okay. So now we say keep change. Oh, well, we got to keep his hair. Got to keep that beautiful hairline right there. Oh, but then that came. All right. So we're going to control. Oh, no. We'll just uh, mark areas to remove. Again, this is, this is really simple work with PowerPoint. Now we say keep changes. And there you go. You now have a transparent image of Alex Trebek. So we're going to save as a picture. We're going to call this Alex. I will put it on my desktop just because I can find it easy. Now we come back in here, go to our host booth. We're going to, no, to our host camera feed. How's everybody doing out there? Are we doing, are we doing well tonight? Are we doing well? That's what I want to know. You guys doing well? There we go. We got Alex, control fit. Beautiful, beautiful host. <laughs> I want to be done right now. Just like that. That's it. That's all I need, baby. <laughs> we have Alex behind the booth ready to ask some questions, man. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. You know, I wonder if we, if we put this down like, oh, that would, nah, we'll leave it there. That's fine. I'm getting too trippy here. <laughs> all right. So we've got Alex, man. We got Alex in the booth. And now you've got your game show, man. You've got your you've got your semblance of the start of the game show. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, what else goes on this screen? I guess you have to have a floating TV coming in. I guess you need a TV screen of sorts. So let's uh, let's do this first. I'm going to go into PowerPoint right here, and we're going to create a mask. So we're going to say new slide. This mask is going to be important in a second. Okay. So to make a mask, everything that is white, so we're going to go insert shapes. Where's my shapes? There's my shapes. Do a rectangle. And again, this is 16.9 right there. That's 16.9. So you're golden, right? You're golden. That is the perspective that you want. So we're going to make the shape fill white. Everything that's white will show. So if we put a color source on and lay a mask over on top of it, the white is going to show. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to paste it, and we're going to make this one black, okay, with no no outline. So now we're going to bring this uh, maybe right there, and then holding the shift key to keep perspective, bring it up just a little bit, okay, and it is centered. So now we have our TV mask, essentially. So we're going to do this, right-click, select all, save as picture. We're going to call this the TV mask 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 i can type today baby i can type i'll just throw this again on the desktop because uh that's where everything's going today i'm i'm i'm, I'm hastily going through this okay 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a scene. This is going to be called the TV. TV? Is this just the TV? I guess we'll call it just the TV. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is add a color source. Oh, no. We're going to add a gradient color source because I've been kind of digging this trick. So add the gradient source plugin filter to your OBS. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, first color, we'll go brand colors, baby. I'm going pink. I'm going green because everyone loves the DJ LeFay brand colors. And the cool thing you could do here is the rotation. I really like the rotation aspect. And you could change the midpoints. So you can drop the pink down to there if you want or the green up there. Kind of gives a nice little, little saison faire. Don't know. I'm French, right? LeFay, baby. Now, right click on your gradient filters. We're going to add a filter. We're going to add the image mask filter blend plugin. Say OK. Browse for the file that you just created and we conveniently placed on our desktop called the TV mask. And now you have your TV. What's cool about this TV is everything behind it will be this. It's transparent now, 100% transparent. Um, so because I added it to this source right here before I was adding it to the scene and it just screws, screws everything up, right? I did add it to, to the, to the source itself, right? Not to the scene. I did. I did. Good DJ. Good DJ. So for instance, if I were to add a, uh, a picture in here of like, say Alex Trebek. So we'll just show you the host right now. If I had the picture and I put him behind it, um, you see how it's, it's, uh, transparent. So it's proven to you. I'm not lying. I'm not lying at all. Delete, uh, Host camera feed. Okay. So now you have your TV overlay thing, right? We got this thing going on right now. This is your, your TV screen. All right. So now we're going to bring this in here and we're going to. Okay. So for the TV now, now that we have a screen, we're going to add a color source, the same one we've been using before. We're going to use the black one right here and we're just going to put it behind it. So now, as long as everything is in between the black and the gradient, you're going to have, you know, moving pictures, if you will. So now in the host only scene, we can go and add that scene. We're going to say, uh, add a scene existing and the TV. And we're going to change the size of it, right? Like that. And now you have your TV screen where you can do your, I don't know, questioning or I don't know. I, I don't know what this game show is yet. I, I have no idea. No idea. A uh, question for the chat. Would anybody be down with testing out OBS Ninja on this guy, OBS Ninja. Basically, I'm gonna create a link and then you're gonna try to come in here and be a contestant as we, we do the contestant thing. So if you want to, just raise your virtual hands and I'll be happy to, to bring you in. Um, you could even just you know do a still picture of your dog or something, I don't know. But if you wanna take part, this is your opportunity to test this out. So my idea is that you could do this with OBS Ninja so everyone would have, you know, we can have up to three, four, five, 17 guests, whatever you want. Um, so if you're down for that and you want to try this out and you'd like to be a part of that, then please feel free to raise your hand and, and you can come on in. Um, so to build out the contestant scene, my thought is soldiers is in. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, we're going to get that to that in a minute. Let me get the contestant. Let, let's say we're going to have um, we're going to have three contestants, right? So I'm going to say duplicate this slide. And my contestants are all going to look like this. I'm going to have one here, copy, paste. I'm going to have one here, copy, paste. And I'm going to have one here. Okay. Just, uh, so Microsoft also has this thing where if you select everything, go up to format, go to align, it has distribute horizontally. So you can distribute everything horizontally. So now this would be kind of the mask for the contestants. So we're going to save as picture and we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to say, all three contestants okay all right soldiers i'm gonna bring you on here in a little bit uh be an upstanding dj lefave crew citizen when you're on the show okay upstanding citizen <laughs> uh we're gonna call this three contestant um feed tv tv we'll call this the tv and we'll say okay so for this one, again, we're going to add the same gradient source. That way it, it, it still looks the same. We're going to add existing. You know what? This may end up having app. Ah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So we're not going to do existing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste duplicate. That way it will no longer have. Well, it'll still keep the filter, but it'll have a different filter on it. 
So now we go to filters for this guy and we're going to change the file to um, all three contestants, right like that. And there you go. Now we can put each of our contestants in um, in their own in their own window right there. All right, let's get into the fun stuff. We're going to OBS Ninja this sucker up. So the first thing I have to do is I have to say, um, I don't know how this whole feed's going to come in. So we're going to do this Ninja Ninja 1. Ninja All. This is going to be the whole room. I don't know how the whole room comes in yet because I haven't tried it out yet. So we'll just try this like this. We're going to add a browser source. Okay, browser source. And we're going to say Ninja Group room okay and we're going to call this 1920 by 1080 and anybody is free to come on here i'm going to probably mute you to start off with and then um just uh we'll, we'll get to it from there we'll, we'll move along as this goes so to do this you go to obs.ninja and mind you I've, I've never done this before so we're doing this uh on the fly real time with everybody okay on the fly real time so we're going to say create a room all right, we're going to call this DJ Lefave uh, Jeopardy Tribute. Password is recommended. Okay, the password is 3000. Shout out, soldiers. Shout out. Guests can only see the director's video. Now, director will also be a performer. Maybe. I, I don't know how that's going to work. I, I really have no idea. Um, gosh, well, we're going to, we're going to see what all these mean. Enter the rooms control center. Well, what's the video codec? I guess we'll do VP nine is the highest. I think it is the highest people do recommend it. Only alpha numeric characters should be used for the room name. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So here we go. It brings you to this selection panel right now can invite a guest. So we're going to say, Guests can hear others. Okay. I'm going to say copy to clipboard. Um, this is for you. Here you go. Chat room. <laughs> and capture the group scene. I'm going to copy this link. Auto add guests. Copy link. Okay. Uh, cross your fingers, man. And then here we're going to go to properties. I'm going to add this here. I'm going to say okay. Enter the password, 3,000, 3,000, say OK. All right, screen, so, hmm, that's, did I, did I grab the right link? Is that how it's supposed to look? We'll find out when you guys start coming in here. So capture group scene, oh, invite a guest, so that's invite a guest, that's, this is, uh, Let's see. Use in OBS or other studio software to capture the group mix. Okay, so we're just waiting on people to join. I think. Refresh it. Every time you got to add the password? That's laborious. All right, wrong link. Did I did I did I cross them up backwards? So it says here, invite a guest. So right here. So we say copy link, right? Use the invite link. So this is the invite link. I copied it right here. You guys are watching me. You're watching me real time. Invite a guest, copy link, and then paste it. That should be it. That should be it. Unless you're not getting the whole link. If you're not getting the whole link, um, soldiers, I'll go throw it up in my Discord, yo. I'm going to throw it up on my Discord. How about that? <laughs> I would throw it up in your Discord too. I could do that too. But uh, how do I do this? Can I can I send you a direct a, a DM? Can I DM you the link? Is that is that a thing? I have no idea how this works. But again, you guys are learning with me, man. You're learning with me. So let's see. You are not logged in, brother. Not logged in. We're gonna message you with the link. There you go. You've been messaged with the link, soldiers message so it, it's out to you man it's out and now i'm just gonna see let me know if you, if you get on again with the password we're gonna do one without a password next time definitely without a password so the idea behind this is is that we're going to be able to then crop this into different um different scenes so here i'm going to say 
I'm going to call this one contestant, contestant, contestant one, right? And then, oh, was that saying something? All right, so contestant one. So here I'm going to add the scene of ninja all. And then once the contestants start rolling in, you can you can crop them down to wherever their their video is essentially that's the idea so then if you have three contestants they're always going to show up in the same spot supposedly i, I don't know <laughs> refresh it's good stuff for me the energy all right digging it digging it getting hot in here man getting hot all right, soldiers, waiting on you, waiting on you. You're letting Alex down. Don't let Alex down. <laughs> He's watching. He's waiting. <laughs> Refresh. All right. So let's go back to the... Uh, could you bring me in? Um, did you... Do I have to do anything? Oh, there's one. Who's this? Ah, soldiers with the stream. Okay, so... There is... There you are. How do we bring them... Oh, you get a copy solo link. Look at that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to copy the solo link. All right, we'll copy the solo link. And then in contestant one, instead of ninja all, we're going to add a browser source. And this is going to be contestant one. And we'll bring in the link here. Oh, this is cool. All right. Control audio via OBS. Make sure you click that box. That way you can do all of your audio. Con well, Unless you want to control it through voice meter, but I think in this case, if you control it through OBS, you can mute and unmute people if and when you need to. So, there it is. There's soldiers. Sweet, man. Sweet. Sweet, baby. It's in. It's in. All right. So, um, yeah, put, put, put maybe your game on or something and then uh, just showing you how, how you can work this around now. If we go back to our three-person TV, so right now I could do add a scene, and I'm going to add contestant one right here. Say okay, drop it behind, and now I can uh, I can crop it till it's in the middle, and then I can drag it on over. So if they were standing in front of the scene like that, that would be your 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 your, your scene, your picture, your your whatever. So what's cool about this now is I can go back to my TV scene, right? And now in my TV scene, I can add the scene of the contestants, right? We're going to do three contestant TV. I'm going to drop this behind the gradient, behind the black. So when we come back to the main feed, right? Where's the main feed? Right here. You can then bring up your contestants all three at once. Uh, if I go into studio mode and just pretend we're on the TV right now, I can then blink out that. So blink that out. Now we have a regular TV on. And now we have our, our contestants coming in. So, okay. Sound. So I want to be able to hear you when you produce sound, soldiers. If you have a name different than soldiers, I'm happy to use it. Um, if you want me to keep calling you soldiers, that's okay. I'm prior service, baby. I'm a veteran. I'm a veteran. That's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm in. All right. So now if I get off of studio mode... We're going to see that this this line right here is our uh, contestant one. If I right click on it and I go to filters and I add an audio filter, I'm going to add the audio monitor plugin, say OK, and I wanted to come back into my headphones. For this case, I'm going to do VAIO3. I'm going to select VAIO3. OK, that's good. So we're going to hit close there. So that should be good. Um, let me know if you are pumping any audio out sir are you pumping audio out okay send some audio i should see it here so it's it's something's happening there for a second if you guys see right here it, it's spiking for a second but i'm not hearing anything if you guys are hearing anything on your end 
please no copyrighted materials. Please, please. We've done so good. So good. We have pleased the YouTube gods. 100%. Um, so actually, I will mute you here, but I should still see it, right? So if I like muted, uh, muted my music, no, you, you don't see it. All right, so I'm going to... If I go into this, and if you go right-click, and you see the audio monitor... Where's the audio monitor? I don't think that's working with... Uh, oh, there it is, right there. So this is our audio monitor. Okay, track one. So you're you're not putting out any audio, man. Are you trying? Are you trying? <laughs> oh, I got it. It's in my ear. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. I got that for a second, man. I got it. Little, little beeps there. Okay. I'm getting it. Sweet. So I'm getting it on my monitor right here, but I'm, I'm choosing not to put it out to you all right here. So you can see on my monitor. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, so I can get it. That means that I could send it. I'm not going to send it because there's lyrics, which means that it's probably a song that um, that is uh, copyright. And if I don't want to hear it, all I got to do is press this button. And now I don't hear it anymore. But if you're looking right here, that means his audio is coming in. Contestant 1 audio is good. Uh, I, I can't take that chance, man. I can't take that chance. I've been so good. I believe you, though. I believe you. But I'm proving the point right here that it is coming through. It's coming through right here. So that's you, and I have it muted over here. If I unmute it, there you go. So it came through. And that is awesome. So now you have your entire control center here. You can control this with Touch Portal or Stream Deck because this is just a filter. So the same way you would control any other filter, you're good to go right there. So it can be as simple as just blanking things in and out right here and, and that's it. But now we want to have, we want to have, it's the contestants turn to tell us all a little bit about themselves, right? A little bit about themselves. We want to know about the contestants. So um, this is the host only scene, right? So we're just going to duplicate this just to make things easier to start. We're going to say contestant one gets it. Oh, already in use. Contestant one, C, one, solo. Oh, how does the audio monitor work? Bro, you got to watch my non-live streams, man. My non-live streams. But I'm glad you're asking because I will show you how the how the uh, how it works. Uh, here we go. So it is. The, which one did I do recently? It's under how to's. It's got a zoom picture on it. Ah, right here. So this one shows you how to send it to Zoom. Um, it's the same thing if you want to send it anywhere else to your headphones or whatever. It's a pretty cool uh, plugin. It ends up letting you... Basically, you don't need voice meter. A couple virtual audio cables and you're straight to go. It, it, it re replicates voice meter's actions all within OBS. So it's a very, very cool tool to use. Oh, that's neat. I have it muted. I have it muted, but I can still see the power, the, the, the line coming through. That is really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, no, uh, audio monitor plugin, again, very, very neat tool. All you do is any audio source you want. You right click it, go to filters, add the audio monitor, and then select it's your output, essentially. Because remember, what I tell everybody to do, I tell everybody. Go to audio first and disable all of these. Disable them. And then you're going to control everything through your sources. And because it's a filter, you now have the option to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off with a hotkey or with a stream deck. Um, the one thing I was working on with some folks today was a stream deck uh, or my stream deck app at right here. So if we go to just a new, a new profile, there is this thing, uh, OBS Bar Raider tools. OBS tools by Bar Raider. Let me zoom in so you can see. Bar Raider Tools. You can do the filter toggle. Now right here, filter toggle, when I click on it, the options under here, you just type in the source name that the filter is in and the filter name itself. And when you push your Stream Deck button, it's going to turn that filter on, turn that filter off. So motion coming in and out, audio filters on and off. It's too easy. It's too easy. You can do the same thing with Touch Portal 2, obviously, but this is not a... A touch portal game show. This is uh, this is this game show. Okay, all right. You have a 100 
MPS might be British connection and it's on your 1080 PC so we're gonna see it in full size right now okay what I was creating right now is your the the solo the solo scene do I want to do this this way I have a contestant so the contestants right here it's coming through pretty good actually you think it's too choppy I'm going at 60 frames per second right now um, but that's pretty cool uh, let's see how do I want to do this I guess we're gonna we're gonna utilize the TV screen again. Right now we can't do that because this is in there. We can utilize the gradient source again. Here we go. So we're gonna go to C1 contestant one. We're going to add a gradient source and we're gonna add existing gradient. Say okay. So now you've got the frame around them, right? The frame is good. So contestant one is all by themselves. So if we go here into solo. The host will be off screen when we want. Do we want the host off screen? I'm not sure. Uh, if we don't want the host off screen, again, this is all preference for you, right? So in TV, I can just now add a scene. Scene. Uh, which scene am I adding? I'm going to add a scene. I'm going to add contestant one. Say OK. So now this is the contestant one scene. So if we go back to the the host only scene now contestant one is up here so yeah well 1000 gigabits per, or one, one gigabit per second that's that's amazing man that's amazing so now you have just the host uh, just the the person talking if you are just the contestant um i use the vp9 codec yes uh and then real quick to show you uh it on my and and again th there could be more fine tuning but um internet speed test for me run speed test we are downloading at nearly a gig nearly a gig we're close not quite there and then uh that's that's blazing though baby i love seeing those numbers love seeing those numbers um so the control room right here i guess there there may be some things here that we can we can mess with so you guess hang up record local Video settings, screen. Nope, there's nothing else we can mess with there. Up here, audio. I know there's an audio thing down here. Enable director. Toggle the chat. So, I mean, it's it'd be interesting to see what it looked like if it were just you on the screen. But that that's it right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> is that you or is that me? <laughs> um. So again now, so now you have your contest. I showed you how to bring all three contestants in. Showed you how to bring in a separate contestant over OBS Ninja. You could do OBS um Man, that's weird. Is that you? Let me let me see over here. No, it looks good there. Weird. All right, so maybe it is because I have too many. So I go to contestant 1, go here. We're just going to refresh this source. See if that's it. There we go. You're back online. You're back online, baby. Okay, so showed you contestants, showed you to bring all three in. Now we have to create, I guess, if you would have questions. Is that is that a thing? I mean, I don't know how you'd get the questions on and over. This is this was not thought out at all. Just want to let you know that. Not thought out at all. And you want everyone else to be able to see it. So what are you seeing? What are you seeing right now on your end? You're not seeing anything, right? Like you, you, and you, you're stuck to the delays here. Are you seeing my video? Did I start my? Oh, enable director microphone or video. I'm gonna enable with a virtual cam. Put it on the floor. The question. Yeah, I mean, but I want to see how they will see it, Steph. I want to see how how he's going to receive my video. So, all right. So I'm sending my video out here. It should be a near, near real time for you. So because, well, maybe, maybe. But you can pick virtual camera up here. We just did it. I'm looking down here and I see that that's my video and it looks like it's in pretty real time. So we're going to, we're going to keep going with this. Okay. So if I were to open up this scene here, we're going to need to have our, our, our 
questions. Our questions are going to have to come in down here, right? Cool little trick I'm going to show you about this. So if we take our background, we're going to copy our background, and we're going to paste our background. I'm going to show you what we're doing here. I'm going to create a way for the questions to come up from the floor right there. So the questions are going to be, they will be behind this background, but above this background. They're going to be put right here. So when they come up with our motion, they're going to come up seemingly from the floor. Okay, seemingly from the floor. So make our TV. Uh, you want your TV to be big, though. We can put our TV just like that. That's fine. So they're going to come up right through there. Let's just do a template here of what we're going to do. So would you create them inside of OBS or would you create them inside of PowerPoint? I think PowerPoint, because then you would only need one. You can do some magic with PowerPoint. So we're going to do PowerPoint. <clears throat> Let me show you how to do this in PowerPoint. That's what I see. Oh, you, you're, you're showing it, showing what you see. Okay. Oh, you're getting a... Uh, well, maybe that's because I'm sharing my screen and my screen. It might be different if I did not have display capture on right now. Maybe. Again, kinks that the creator of their own real virtual talk show are going to have to figure out. I'm only providing you with the keys. Now I'm telling you, go find the lock. <laughs> right? That, that's really what this is about. Here's the keys. Go go figure out now which door does this unlock. We're going to show you what these, these things can do. Uh, soldiers, if you want, you can get off now. We, I don't think, I think that, that, um, actually, let me see if I can boot you. If you're a bad person, can I boot you? Blind guest? What is that? Toggle the remote guest display output. Blind? Okay, I guess you wouldn't be able to see me then. Deafen guest. Hang up. Are you sure you wish to disconnect this user? Everybody say thank you to soldiers in the, in the uh, chat, please. Go give them a thank. Go uh, like and subscribe to his page. That was a big help. So I, I did that. I hung up. Yet you're still here. Force the user to disconnect. Oh, they can always reconnect? <laughs> change password. Change password. <laughs> There's blind guests. Oh, okay. So blind guests. But you're still showing up there. Like something is still showing up. Um, uh, we'll leave that for now. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing with PowerPoint, how I would do our slides, right? How I would do our slides. We're going to do a new one right here just to get a nice, freshy, fresh base. We're going to first thing, we're going to just do file, save as, and we're going to do this on the desktop because everything today goes on the desktop. And we're going to say uh, questions. If I could write questions, is that the French way of writing questions, Steph? I don't know. It was too, way too many vowels. <laughs> All right, we're going to get rid of this. Um, all right, so to make this work, go to Slideshow, go to Setup Slideshow, and select Browsed by an Individual Window. That's the only setting that you have to change in here. All right, so now we're just going to add some word art, just uh, word art, do this. We'll say question one. We're going to make it really big. Actually, if you notice on our scene, we don't have the full width right here. We only have about... Oops. We only have... Oh, what did I do? What did I do? We only have about this much space for our question, right? So just to give you an idea of how much space that really is, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take this this scene. I'm going to crop it up to right there. Okay? So to get your perspective of everything, if you right-click on this, windowed, right? Make this window a little bit bigger. Right like that. Now, if I do print screen, control all and print screen, put the title of the show or the name of the invited guest. Yes, I could do that too. Could do that too. Um, so we're going to say close this now. So I just, if you just saw that I did a print screen of that, that rollout. The reason I did that is that when I paste this as a picture and I do the, the proper cropping, you're going to get an idea inside of PowerPoint of how much space you have to actually work with. And that becomes our template. So this is our space right here. So I'm going to insert a shape. The shape I'm going to use is right like this. That's where the question is going to come up at, just like that. We'll make it black. Now I'm going to delete this. Now, if you go like this, 
just uh, resize it by holding the shift key, it's going to keep the perspective. So now when we crop this scene in the next one, it's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. Absolutely marvelously perfect. And we'll just delete this thing right here. We don't need this. So now inside of here, we're going to say edit, edit text. This is going to be question one. And we're going to make the text bigger. So all old eyes can see. And then we're going to duplicate this. But on this one, we're going to make this one a different color. We'll make it green. Actually, more tricks. If you make the background green, then you can chroma key this all out. But we won't do that. We'll, we'll make the answer. Yeah, we'll make it green just like that. And then the text is going to be black. Okay. So that's question one. Copy. This is question two. Oh, this is going to be answer one. Answer. Come on, baby. Answer one. And again, I'm just, I, I had no thought of what I was doing when I started this thing out. None whatsoever. There you go. You can animate this. You can, please, please, if you do this, make it prettier. Make it prettier. I beg you. Just make it prettier. All right. So now we're going to, again, the, the there's um, some neat features in here. Like, just press this and your slideshow is now open. So there's our slideshow, right? It's open as a window. I'm going to kind of bring it down just like that. Okay. So now let's go back into OBS. What is this? OBS. A lot of errors there. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't see them. Okay. So in here, we're going to add a scene. We're going to add a scene here. We're going to call this uh, PowerPoint questions. And you could do this thing with PowerPoint with any, any other, anything else, really. Anything else you want to do using PowerPoint, just remember what I'm doing right here. And, and you can do it there, too. Okay. You can do it as well. Say, okay there. So now we're going to add a window. Add a window capture. The window capture is going to be PowerPoint. Okay. And we're going to be looking for the PowerPoint right there. And if you do this one to match, match the title, then it always has to be your questions file. Always. Always going to be your questions file. So we'll say, okay. And I'm going to fit it to screen. I'm going to start my cropping. So it looks like we're going to crop this down to about right there. We're going to crop this up to right there. We're going to resize it down right like that. Okay. Right there looks good. Okay. So we just, uh, we just added our, our questions. So now we go back up to our host only scene in our host only scene. We're going to add that scene. So add scene. Add existing PowerPoint questions. And it's going to look large, right? It's going to look large. We're going to crop this scene down just like that. And we're going to now resize it to right where we wanted it, right there. Okay. So now the questions come up right there. So now we're going to apply the filter. In order for the filter to work, we want our PowerPoint questions to be in between the two backgrounds. In between the two backgrounds. Drag it over just, just for a little bit right there. Okay. So to do this, you apply this filter to the actual scene. So on the scene, we're going to go right click filters and we're going to add the move source, move source. Okay. We'll call this uh, questions in case we end up having more than one slideshow coming through here. All right. This is what it looks like. The first thing you have to do is resize it because interactive DNA is uh, screen is a little, little, little large for us, right? So you select your source. The first source we're going to do is PowerPoint questions. Okay. PowerPoint questions. Now this is where we want it to end up. So sorry if it's hard, you know, I'm going to change the theme for a second here, just so you guys can see this. So we're going to change the theme. Maybe small fonts will work. No, we're going to go to just the default dark theme for a minute say okay okay don't crash on me now okay so here we go this is this is really fun this is the move transition okay so the this is the end point this is the end state that we want to be in we want to be up at the end state so the what we're going to do with this is it's going to be powerpoint questions 
custom duration, no end delay, transform. Do I want to transform? Did I pick the wrong one? PowerPoint questions. Did I pick, does it not move? Might be motion. Uh, Transform relative, is that it? Not transform. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna do a different one. We're gonna do a different one. We're gonna do the motion. I, I think I'm a little bit more familiar with the motion one. Plus, and it's gonna be the motion. There we go, we'll call this one questions. Again, we're just doing this all on the fly. Same thing applies, select the source. It's gonna be PowerPoint questions. Hotkey is gonna bring you round trip. That means one hotkey is gonna go up, it's gonna go down. Uh, variation position, right? You can do position, you could also change the size of something if you wanted to. Uh, custom starting setting, right? We want that. We want that. So we're going to say right here, the starting setting, this is where we want to be because we've already placed it. So place it where you want it to be, and then that's it. Now, I'm going to rely on Steph here. I think X, is, no, Y is the one we want. Y will bring it down. So just a test here. We're going to do negative. So it says 706. We're going to do... Not negative. We're going to do 1920 just to see if it goes in the right way. And now we hit forward. Nope, that was wrong. So this one is is going to be 706. And the other one is going to be the X is going to be uh, maybe 1,000. Maybe. Say forward. Oh, that comes from the side. No, I was right then. So Oh, I need to put this value in for X. 752. And then the starting Y is going to be... Uh, 2,000. Backward. There we go. And forward. Yeah, I, I went too far. <laughs> we'll do 1,000 on that one. All right, 1,000 on that one. It says 1,000. It says 1,000. Backwards. Forwards. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to make our duration 0.3. And I'm going to make our acceleration 0.6. It's the numbers I've been using. So now I want to go backwards and forwards. There's our question one. So here's the question one. Where's my slides? <laughs> so you do the question, right? You do the question. Let me make uh, make OBS a little bit smaller here. So you do the question. Okay. Close. Oh, I don't want this here. You do the question, and then you're going to make it go backwards, right? Now we're going to advance the slide right there to answer one. Now we come back here and we say forwards and there's your answer. Voila, need some cropping. Boop. Boop. Again, I'm, I'm not here to make these things look pretty yet. Um, so what can you do to speed this up? You can have uh, you can have hotkeys to do both PowerPoint and to do your to do your control of your filter. So here's the example. We just added it into Stream Deck. Let's go to Stream Deck. So there's our stream deck. So the source name, right? It's gonna ask for the, the the source name first. So the source, huh, that might be interesting because it's a scene. Maybe this won't work for a scene. We'll try it. So the source, well, we're gonna call this the host only scene. And the filter name is questions, okay? Nope, that doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. We tried. We tried. Uh, this one might be funny because uh, so the source could also be PowerPoint questions. Let's try that. P, and this all has to be written correctly. P W R P N T. <laughs> it all has to be written correctly, guys. <laughs> questions. All right, so let's try this now. Nope, that doesn't do it. All right, we'll do it as a hockey. To do it as a hotkey, click on settings, go to hotkeys, go to the scene that this is in on. This is on host only, host only scene, which we're, we're kind of changing the flow of that one for sure. Host only scene. So on the host only scene, at the bottom of this, you're going to see questions forward and backward. So I'm going to do alt control F11, alt control F11. Okay. And we'll say, okay. All right, we're gonna say close. So now, zoom out in my stream deck. I'm just gonna add a hockey, hockey switch. 
and we're going to call this alt control f11 and alt control f11 and name this this will be questions so now when i push that there you go goes up goes down goes up goes down push up a button so you can control powerpoint with a flick of the switch and you can do this up and down it didn't like that one let's just do it as a hockey that might be faster alt f11 there we go and then we say push push oh that's much smoother much smoother so we now have a scene with people a contestant a host and we have questions by you now how do you get people to answer that's one thing i think that i think that you you, you couldn't have people buzz in i don't think buzzing in would work i don't think that would work it might work it'd be cool if you had <laughs> i know how to make it work send a super chat when you know the answer <laughs> you guys are going to see me start 10 game shows this week because <laughs> then you, you can use touch portal to create um some flashes or you know you can see who who did it first um can i still see your feed uh, I think I turned you off. No, I turned you off. So if I come back here. Oh, so I, I turned you off in... Is this what you see right now? I turned you off in OBS. So I wonder... I'm seeing myself up here. So... Blind guest? I don't know. Are, are, you, are you shooting back at me when I'm throwing your way? Unblind? Blind? I'm not sure. Again, if I were doing this personally, I would probably do Zoom, probably. Um, but I think OBS Ninja has potential. I think that I just don't know how to use it right now. Zoom would be would be pretty easier. That oh that that is coming from you. See, we have a screen of me up though. How am I supposed to know it's someone else? <laughs> this is good though. This is pretty cool. So uh, let's go back to the 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 call it the host only scene but now when i hit this so you could now technically do multiple powerpoints open at the same time so your screen is coming up you're showing i'm showing you my screen so if i go into here so you're sending me back because that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing this right here oh i don't have your audio man oh you're saying you got some you got some uh i got you I got you. Are there any stream beats right now? Brown chicken, brown cow. Brown chicken. No, I'm just playing. Just playing. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yes, you're sending me back. Okay, well, then, yeah, you're, you're coming in right now. And then when I come into contestant one, D1, so where are you at? So here, refresh. Enter the password. Um, I might have to turn you on somehow, other way. So blind guests, hang up. Oh, do I have to? Maybe give a different link. Let's copy that. Let's take a look. It's all trying it out, man. Oh, that's the group ninja room. C1 solo, contestant one. There we go. Contestant one, properties. Paste. Okay. Yep, there you are. I got you. Oh, looking up stream beats. Yo, you need to look up the DJ LaFave stream beats and chill, B. <laughs> All right, you want to try sending music through? Here, uh, if you play this link, um, obviously, because it's uh, it's it's DJ LaFave approved. If you go to just any of my stream beats and chill, do this. Copy link address right here. All right, there you go. I'm going to turn my sound off for a second. We're going to come to the booth right now. Coming to the booth. Pause that. Pause that. I want to hear this. I want to hear this, baby. I want to hear if this works. Okay. Send your audio. Oh, I can't. I'm not on your scene. I can't. Okay. In order for everyone to hear your audio, they'd have to. I'd have to do it in mine, man. I had to do it in mine. All right, we'll do that. I'll bring it in here. Let me go in studio mode real quick. 
Let me, uh, I don't know, you know what? Screw Scooting Mode. I, I will mess up all this prettiness right now, just, just for you. So we're going to add a scene. Not a scene. We're going to add a browser source. We're going to call this, please work. Say okay. We're going to put in this source, control audio through OBS, 1920 by, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just put my own video back in there. Wouldn't that be funny? Okay, uh, where are you at? You're right here. Copy solo link. I'm gonna put the solo link in right there. Okay. Please work. Okay. Control fit. Control fit. Okay, so there's that there. Okay, are you sending audio? This is, uh, it's like Inception, man. It's a dream within a dream. Okay, so where would you be coming in? Please work is going to be right here. We're going to right-click, properties, control, oh, you know what? I probably have to turn your audio on over here. Let me set up the filter first. All right, I'm going to show you how to set up. I can't show you how to set up a filter because I'm doing it myself on this screen. So filters, um, add audio filter. Which one am I on? No, not that one. I'm going to go here. Hold on. Doing some background work. I'm adding the audio filter. Audio monitor. I'm going to set it to that one. Say okay. Okay, I'm about to unmute you. So, you unmute. You got, you got sound coming through? Because you are unmuted. Nothing's coming in right now. I don't know if you're sending sound or not. Audio settings. So I have, you are not muted. Um, just to let you know, you're not muted. I can't show you my controls right now, but you're not muted. Um, and I'm not seeing anything coming in on any, any line right now. So I'm waiting on you, soldiers. See what you got, man. Got any audio coming in? Mute, unmute, mute, unmute. No. You say you're sending me sound. Oh, there's something. Something. Still looking. Okay, let's see here. Got my 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 tracking here. Track. No, no nothing's coming in, man. For some reason, it, it, it could be a whole bunch of, it could be a bunch of things, a bunch of reasons why. It, it really could be a whole bunch of reasons. I think that that in and of itself is a whole nother show of just trying to get Ninja to work. Um, kind of kind of feeling it out. You know, there, there's no real roadmap for it, but I did have your audio earlier. So the audio was working earlier, um, just not now for some reason. Um, it could be because I hung up on you and... I, <laughs> I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. Where were we at? Got questions. I, I guess that's that's a lot of the moving parts to get you where you need to be. Right? That's a lot of the moving parts. Questions up, questions down. So, I mean, really, these are all the pieces that one would need to make a game show. Except Alex Trebek. So there you go. If you guys enjoyed this, like, share. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. If you want to send a super chat, some cool things happen. I'm not going to show you anymore. Showed you guys enough. Got enough freebies. Send a dollar. Just want to see it go off, man. Just want to see it go. Okay, let's get the music back on. Music back on. What, what track were we on? Right there. Music's back on. Got the sound up. Got, uh, what do we got going on here? Music music there we go music's playing perfect bright levels yes yeah, so that's it man that's what we got that that's uh that, that was my plan for today was to show you guys how to create a game show and without any real planning thanks steph thanks man without any real planning we accomplished it i think it was pretty cool 
I think it was pretty cool. Now I've got to go and uh, delete all my OBS Ninja uh, URLs that are just hanging out on the interwebs. But there you go. If there's uh, any other questions one might have. Trent, what's up, brother? What's up? Welcome to the show. If you've been here the whole time, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know... I see all these people out there that are saying I, I, I edit my videos forever. It takes me forever to edit my videos. And I just, uh, I don't like editing. I don't have enough time for that. I've got too much time to learn other stuff, man, just to do other things. So, um, like right now, I see my DJ booth doesn't have the now. Well, the now, you know, my now playing is just busted. It's just busted. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, man. So what are you guys up to now? I uh, I've been doing some web design. Been working on my website. I guys can show you. I can show you. I can show you where where, where the homepage is going to. So, right now, yeah, Trent. I um, I I go live every now and again. Um, I promise to always only go live. I'll always be live on Mondays at eight p.m. That's my promise. So Mondays at 8 p.m., make some time. That's I will always be live then. But if I ever have extra moments or ideas and time just to go live any other time, well, that's why it pays to hit the notification button when you subscribe. You can hit it now too. Uh, yeah, hit hit the uh, hit the notifications, and you'll know any time that I go live just by uh, by by that. You get a little, little notification, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, rewatch this one. This was a good one. Uh, let the people in the chat let you know. Um, it was a uh, yeah. I, I got snap camera. <laughs> I got snap camera too, man. That, that's pretty fun. I'm not a cat. <laughs> Thanks, Trent. I, I appreciate that. So yeah. So what I am going over right now. Is this is this is my current web page, and um, I, you know, it was good for the time being back in the day when I had some things going. The way that I had them going, and uh, that's that's live events, baby. Live events are coming up. I didn't tell you guys. I got the first part of my my vaccine the other day. I got the first part of my vaccine. Hey, it's like I'm talking to myself. High five. <laughs> I got the first first part of my vaccine. So um, it it really strains your your CPU that much stuff. That's crazy. That's crazy. So yeah, live live performances are coming back. Got a couple shows. Oh, my arm, my arm was sore for three days, man. Uh, I was a little bit tired the first day, but maybe this is why I just didn't sleep the night before. But I go back on St. Patty's Day to get my second one, and they say the second one is where it's going to be tough. So this is where this this is what the site did look like, and this is because you guys are all on right now. This is your sneak peek at what the uh, the new site's going to look like, the new homepage I've been working on creatively called home dash two uh we are flipping it up a little bit you're going to recognize this pretty little lady in the background there we go there we go that's right we got we, we're, we're making this more uh more fun more fun uh no i think he's he's using snap snap cam i'll show you guys snap cam in a second it's uh snapchat's local camera for a pc uh this is uh where we got the discord channel People can book me for an event, virtual or live. You guys can connect with me anytime you want up there. But this is, uh, you know, if you guys dig what this looks like, this is kind of the the rework of, and I, I'm just throwing stuff up here, seeing what works, what doesn't. Delaware Water Gap hike, that was a hike, man. That was like maybe six miles up and down the Delaware Appalachian Trails. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to make it more user friendly and you guys are here. Congratulations. Raise your hand and pat yourselves on the back. You are starting off the club. You are part of the community, uh, uh the graffiti site. It's, uh, I'll put it in the chat, but, uh, here it is. Pexels.com Pexels. It's, uh, it's, it's not necessarily a graffiti site. It's stock photos and videos. So if you just look up graffiti if you know how to spell graffiti i don't know how to spell graffiti <laughs> but here 
it just comes back with stock photos. Uh, oh, there we go. That's how you spell graffiti. So this is just an idea. If you wanted to get some stuff for uh, for your website, for your stream, this is when you click on it, right? You click on it. Now, I don't recommend you use a whole bunch of uh, don't use these tremendously in your website. People will see that. But when you click on free download, it, it, it automatically downloads it right there and it, you're good to go. So it's got all of these pictures. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Good stuff. We'll take that one. Yes, please. Nobody else use it. I call dibs. I got the space man. <laughs> I just go through here and I'll see what I like. And, and like I said, graffiti is good because it has brick backgrounds, right? It's got brick in the background, but you can set up your, your out, outdoor uh... <laughs> graffiti, man. Graffiti. Graffiti. You can set up an outdoor DJ booth. Download, and you you could you could donate to them, but you know, I know who you should donate to. I do, I do. Not you, Steph. You've been more than more than generous. I appreciate everything you've done. But yeah, then this is where you just go on through here. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't don't use uh don't use too many. Um, definitely don't. But for you know, like like for me, I just wanted something. Something up top, and 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 this obviously, you guys know me. That's me now, and and it's not technically a stock photo, because um, I adapted it. It's it's actually this is the only photo I you guys saw before. I flipped the other one, so you see how the numbers are different on both sides. So it's it's one photo flipped just to give me a longer range of the photo. It's all I did, but we'll call that my my background meme, my meme. Um, yeah, so again, this is this is where the site is going to. I want it to be more community based, more. But I also have to re represent for this right here because uh, parties are coming back. I've got three scheduled for May. I've got two weddings scheduled for October. So it's it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a a good year. And um. Again, because you guys are, are are my friends right now, this is the website that I just designed. And whenever I design websites for people, I kind of get inspiration and go and update my, my website. So a lot of this stuff is just placeholders, but um, I, I'm, this is one of my other side jobs. So when you don't see me coming up with new OBS stuff, this is some of the stuff that I've, I've come up with on here. One of the cool things I came up on, on here is just a WordPress site. Um, I learned how to do anchors inside of WordPress. So when you click on this, it anchors you. It brings you down, down to the RSVP. Um, for the RSVP, this is actually all uh, dynamic from the post. So this is a WordPress blog post that I was able to pull the title from. And this is actually the excerpt from the WordPress blog post. So it comes, it goes into the form itself. So when you just go to all these, this ends up giving you a customizable request form for each of these things. You see that? And when you send this, when you submit this form, it shows up in email. And in the email, it, it shows you what page it was sent from. And the page has their name in it. So you know what event that they RSVP to. So the person, they wanted the picture and they wanted the date included with the RSVP form. And that's kind of my my outside of the box way of of doing that and making that happen. So yeah, that was uh that's what I've been working on is is this little guy right here. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. It looks fun. Uh, but this one, that's my baby. That's my baby. So if you guys ever use Elementor, um, so uh, I I charge right now for web pages websites I'm I'm uh, twenty five hundred dollars for a website, so that's uh, that's getting your website up and then six months of support. So from from day one to the end six months, it's uh, pretty reasonable. I, I found out that uh, that uh, they they charge like twice or more of that. You can go to Fiverr and get it done for cheaper. Uh, I'm gonna show you my 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 template, man. My my template. All right, my template. Uh, all right, hey, baby. Yes! You rock, Trent. Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> wasn't that worth it? Tell me that wasn't worth it. Oh, that is great. That is great. Kudos to you, man. Oh, blinding. Blinding everybody. <laughs> So much fun. So much fun. 
Oh man, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that that's fun. That that's a whole lot of fun. Uh, let me get the whole site up for you here. It's uh Soledad Pensy Demos. Oh, uh, thank you. I I'll show you how to do it at some point. I will definitely show you how to do it. This is the that's not it. Oh, uh, where is it? Right here. Okay. So this is the page. I really really love this theme. It's uh I wish I picked up more of them at uh Christmas time they were they were like cheaper. Right now it's $59 for for the theme itself, but just the these are all different the template comes with all of these. So these are all basic themes that you can get. Some of them are straight up WordPress-esque themes and then other ones are pre-built Elementor scenes. So when I do a website, I uh <laughs> I do thanks 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 Steph. I do um what do I do? I do Elementor and this theme and that's all they need to get going. If they want anything extra, uh if they want to pay for backups or anything like that. So so to answer your question soldiers, it's 2500 plus 115 for for these two these two items. And then from there, I just try to make the magic happen. But yeah, this is uh this is a pretty cool if you do WordPress, it's it's pretty ballin. I I I I love it. I I love this um the one that I always use is one called uh, Music Band. You guys don't have to steal it from me, but this is a uh, this is the the basic design. Um, oh, Cilient? Cilient? I you know I I started off with a whole bunch. Uh, <laughs> thanks. It, it's awesome, right? So nobody you may not have seen. I kind of previewed that to some people, but yeah, for 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 a buck you can you can destroy the stream with lasers. That that's the uh, that is the fun. And uh, that that was actually a good time building that up. So uh, I appreciate it, man. I I appreciate you you being out here. And and you know you see that a lot on Twitch that there's a whole lot of interaction and there's not much on YouTube because there's not much you can do with YouTube. It doesn't allow you to do that fun stuff. But I'm breaking the mold, baby. I'm breaking the mold. That is how we're doing it. But yeah, this is this is this is the the template that I use, and then. I customize it, and I've learned so much in Elementor. Elementor is just a cool program. Um, I may get to teaching that in the future if people so decide. Why didn't you tell me there was no music playing? Oh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> oh, the absolute worst. But you're the best. Is that my creation? Yeah, that's 100% my creation. 100% <laughs> my creation. Um, yeah, I, uh, I made that, that whole thing up. So, oh boy, we see it coming. I, I see it pop up in there. It just takes a second to click. <laughs> I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Cause I know it's gonna, I know it's gonna happen. Better happen. Hope it works. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the first pound I've ever received. So thank you. I, I wanna. I I've got a Canadian coin now. I've got a. I've got a pound. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate that very much. Yeah. No. That. That's a a creation that that I put together. Um. It's a. It's a scene that I created. Um. Plus some some lighting tricks. And uh, and I use Touch Portal, so I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you the Touch Portal portion of it of how this all works. So how do I get to that? Do I want to show you how to do it? Do I really want to spill that secret? That that's that's nah. Of course, of course I do. You guys, you guys have hung out here long enough. I'll, I'll show it to you. So here's uh here's Touch Portal. So Touch Portal, right here. So. Touch Portal does some cool things. Yeah. Um, I just made that available too. If you uh, end up getting a virtual DJ, you can, you can, you got Pac Man sitting as a, uh, a, be a DJ, be a DJ. I started two years ago. Look at me now. I'm DJing for the Lakers. Dreams can happen. Just don't have them. And then they just happen. It's crazy. Um, so let's see where are we at. So right here is Super Chat. So on this Super Chat, when you click on it, this is what happens right here. This is my secret. I'm going to show you real quick. Whoop. 
That's it. You pause that quickly? <laughs> so basically what happens is on an event, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you this. I don't want to spill all my beans. I'm going to do a new one right here. So you do this right here on um, zoom in. What you do is, uh, let's see, event. It's, um, what is it? Plugin? No. Yeah, when plugin state changes. So you go to event and you say when plugin state changes. So right here. So there is a problem with this though. There is one problem with the, with this feature that there's there's a request in to fix it. If the same person gives back to back super chats, it will not work. It has to be different names. That's just the way that this this whole thing works right now. So I'm glad you didn't try to do it twice in a row. So make sure you guys talk amongst yourselves if you're ever going to do it again. So um, what I do right here is I use Streamlabs just for that. Um, my style and hat man. You know, I was in such a rush to get this stream going tonight that I just I just hopped up on here and said, you know what? I just shaved my head. Got a little, little chin strap going on right here now. Did that. So right here for, for YouTube, you could do uh, YouTube last super chat username. So when the last, the super name, the, the super chat username, the person who sends the super chat changes from nothing, you're going to then tell it to uh, source. You're going to say source visibility. We're going to bring it in here. Toggle. We're going to say show. And then here you're going to pick the scene. So for here, I'm going to pick a uh, booth with two TVs. And the source is strobe. So then it's going to show it. And then I have a timer to show it for 10 seconds. I have an audio clip that I add in here. I have some extra fiddling with some lights that I have in, in my room. And that is how you get that little effect. And then you tell it to hide it. But yeah, I'm not going to show you all my secrets. That one I'm keeping close. I'm proud of that one, man. That That is... That is, I will say, I, I took a note from Nutty. I don't know if you guys ever follow Nutty on YouTube, but uh, Nutty has this thing where you, you pay a dollar and you can blind him with his light. But I wanted to get a more DJ effect into that, so I added the strobes. You get the visual of your name and Beyonce twerking on it. And I think uh, everybody, oh, you want to see in front of the DJ booth? Here you go. Whoa! What's better than being behind the DJ booth? That's right. Being in the DJ booth. Whoa. That's what's up. <laughs> I love that little move. Um, I actually just got uh, on my phone here. I just got a, if you could see it, it's a Game Boy theme. So now my, my entire phone wallpaper screen, everything I do on my phone, it, 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 it makes Game Boy sounds. So... Uh, that's pretty fun. Lots of fun. Oh, now I'm on my phone checking all these comments. Let's come back up. All right, baby. I'm, I'm needing some more water. I, I polished off my bottle. Uh, tomorrow night at 8 p.m., we are going to continue work on the... the uh, what was I doing? The moving video screen. So we're going to add the motion filter to some of those movie scenes. If there's anything that you guys want to see, comment on this video, send me an email, hit me up in the Discord, or again, the one place that, that I've been loving to teach people where to go is, um, and I've been trying to be pretty active here. It's it's actually pretty fun. The only problem that I, I don't like is there's not a good way for me to check it, you know? But uh, right here, um, oh, that's the members only post. You can't see it. You guys aren't members. If you're a member, I put members only posts out here too. So if you join the channel, for like I said, two ninety nine a month, you get members only posts, and then um, throughout here, I put posts. This was a picture, uh, eight p.m. eight p.m. tomorrow night, eight p.m. eight p.m. New York City time. I took this from my phone, from my phone, my new phone, the Samsung Galaxy S twenty one Ultra. That's insane. That's insane. I don't care who you are from a phone, but yeah, check on the community tab, and that's where I'll I'll be uh, putting some stuff out there. Um, good stream. Everybody, give 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 yourself a round of applause. That was a uh, if I had if I had an applause thing that that went through here. Oh, and this is the other thing here, man. This is the uh, right here where you can uh, you can zoom in. I got that that going. Got from there. You warp down, like I said. 
hop in here, a little transformer action. And this was my original tutorial. I'll still keep it because I think that um, I think that I could add some more text underneath here. Um, the 64 zoom, yeah, that 100, that 100 zoom though, bro, it's worth the trade in, man. It's worth the trade in. I'm saying, it's worth the trade in. Oh, yo, soldiers! I just realized that that Canadian, or that Canadian, that uh, that that English pound uh, carries some weight in the U.S. You guys got 18 cents on us right now, so uh, thank you, thank you. Maybe even more than that. <laughs> yeah, tag some buddies, and, and we're gonna we're gonna like finish up from the show that we were doing the other day. We're gonna th show some some motion plugins there, and then again, if there's any questions that you guys have, anything that you guys want to see, anything you want to talk about, um, open game. Other than that, I appreciate you all. Thank you for the VIP lounge. Join the club, become a member. I mean, don't get me wrong, Steph is probably just totally digging the champagne all by himself, man. You know, he's, he's having a good time there right now. Video Fusion. <laughs> uh, soldiers, thank you. Thank you, bro, for um, for obviously the donation and for uh, coming online with that uh, that OBS Ninja. That was really, really cool. Uh, this is trippy. This is a trippy one. I don't even know all the, all the things I have here. All right, guys. That is uh, my longest stream, an hour and 36 minutes going strong. We'll see you tomorrow. You guys be good. Be safe. Have a fun night. I'm DJ LaFave. Out. Thank you.